Why would one of the world's most iconic cities need a secret $5 billion tunnel buried deep beneath its streets? Sounds nuts, right? But hear me out. This video is all about London's brand new underground superhighway called the Thames Tideway Tunnel. It's a ginormous 25 kilometer long tunnel that's going to stop millions of tons of gross sewage from polluting the River Thames every year. But get this, building a monster tunnel that goes under one of the busiest cities on the planet is no joke. How the heck do they dig that thing without crashing into all the pipes, tunnels? Who knows what else is already down there? Stick around, because this video takes you behind the scenes to see the crazy planning and mind-blowing tech they used to pull off this insane underground adventure. Basically, this project is a gigantic underground pipe that's going to solve a pretty gross problem London's been dealing with for years. See, the city's sewer system is ancient. We're talking Victorian era stuff. And let's be real, those old pipes just can't keep up with the amount of nasty sewage flowing through them nowadays. Whenever it rains or there's too much waste, the excess has nowhere to go but straight into the River Thames. Yuck. That's where the new Tideway Tunnel comes in. It's like a supersized backup drain for the city. This massive 25 kilometers long. Say, if you're in London the next couple of years, come on the cable car, it's a good way to see the city. 7M wide underground tunnel runs parallel to the Thames, acting as an interceptor. Instead of sewage overflowing into the river, it gets diverted down deep shafts and into the tunnel to be carried away for proper treatment. Pretty clever, right? The engineers designed it so gravity does all the work. The tunnel gently slopes downhill, allowing all that unpleasant stuff to just flow along without any extra pumping needed. And get this, the whole mega tunnel is buried like 30 to 70 meters underground. Talk about an out of sight, out of mind solution for London's crappy sewage situation. It's giving the outdated Victorian system a serious 21 cent century upgrade. No more raw sewage contaminating the iconic Thames River. This engineering masterpiece will keep the waterways clean and fresh for all the people, plants and animals that call London home. Modern city, modern sewers, that's the name of the game with this subterranean savior. But here's the million dollar question. How the heck do you dig a tunnel? That is massive. Under one of the world's most crowded cities without causing total chaos above ground. You see, the underground landscape of London is like a giant disorganized anthill. It's an absolute maze of pipes, cables, tunnels, and who knows what else down there. Let me paint you a picture. Beneath the surface, there are over 40 different tunnel lines crisscrossing all over the place. We're talking about tube lines for the underground, road tunnels, utility pipes carrying gas and electricity, even a dedicated underground mail delivery system. And that's just scratching the surface. To make matters worse, some of these underground structures and providing for those people to be able to cross by public transport. So critical three elements run directly through the planned route of the new sewer tunnel. The tunnel actually passes just five meters away from a couple of busy tube lines in some spots. That's like being suspended right above the train while it zooms by. And we can't forget about those iconic Thames bridges either. You know, classics like Blackfriars Bridge. The tunnel route goes right under those historical marvels too. One miscalculation, and you could be asking for serious structural damage. So yeah, avoiding all those underground obstacles is like trying to thread a massive concrete needle through an endless tangled knot of yarn. Except if you mess up, you're not just unraveling a sweater, you're risking disrupting vital services for millions of Londoners. Which begs the question, how did they plan routes for construction without crashing into something disastrous? The answer involves seven painstaking years of investigation and state-of-the-art mapping tech. From 2007 to 2014, there was a massive pre-construction phase dedicated entirely to planning the perfect tunnel route. Teams of engineers and surveyors combed through centuries worth of underground maps, records, and blueprints from all the way back in the 1800s. They had to identify every single potential obstacle and map out the tunnel's path with surgical precision to avoid intersecting with tube lines, utility grids, and everything else buried under London's streets. It was like calibrating the trajectory for a 25 kilometers long underground missile that couldn't risk hitting anything at all. But obviously, they couldn't just rely on dusty old city plans from the Victorian era. They also employed cutting edge scanning tech to create a startlingly accurate 3D model of London's current subsurface geography. Um, net zero. And we think this is really creating a wave of momentum. We're talking millimeter level precision here. By combining centuries of historical mapping data with modern 3D modeling, they essentially x-rayed the entire city's underground before even touching a shovel. 
That's the only way they could plan safe routes for those giant digging machines without crashing into something catastrophic. Speaking of those incredible mapping visuals, how did the engineers actually bring all that data to life in a tangible way for construction teams to navigate? Well, let me introduce you to a game-changing bit of software that made visualizing this whole operation possible. But just having an incredibly detailed 3D map is one thing. How did they actually put all that data to use out there in the real world during active construction? You can't just hand hard hat crews an atlas and say, good luck out there. Well, the answer lies in a powerful geographic information system called ArcGIS, created by the mapping masters at ESRI. This cutting edge software transformed those intricate 3D models and centuries worth of data into an interactive digital environment that construction teams could navigate like a virtual world. Imagine having the entire underground landscape of London at your fingertips in crystal clear visualization. Not just some flat map, but a living, breathing replica where you could zoom, spin, and scrutinize every pipe, tunnel, and buried structure hidden beneath the streets. Using ArcGIS's deeply integrated tools, field crews could easily cross-reference their real-time locations with those 3D underground models. It gave them X-ray vision to see exactly what obstacles might be lurking ahead as they dug. The access shafts for London's new super suit. But here's the really cool part. The geographic data flowed both ways. Field teams weren't just receiving information, they were actively updating it too. Anytime they encountered a new condition or obstruction while tunneling, they could capture that data using mobile devices and instantly beam it back into the central database. No more blindly following outdated plans. With this real-time streaming of data, the 3D environment stayed updated to provide an accurate picture of the underground as it currently existed. It was like having X-ray vision that could see through soil and concrete. The benefits were massive. Project managers, engineers, construction crews, they could all quite literally stay on the same digital page, viewing and updating the latest underground conditions from wherever they were. No more miscommunication delays. Everyone operated from one unified living map. ArcGIS visualization is amazing, but how did it help solve key logistical puzzles along the way? Take that diversion structure near Blackfriars Bridge as an example. So as the tunnel route approached the iconic bridge, engineers realized they needed to divert the whole underground Fleet River into the new sewer system. But building those diversion chambers right next to the bridge was a no-go because the Waterloo and City Underground Rail Line ran smack dab through the ideal location. Obviously, they couldn't risk compromising an active tube tunnel. But using ArcGIS's routing tools, they modeled alternative sites and found the next best spot upstream to build the coffer dam structure that would contain the diversion inlet. From there, the insane solution was to literally construct that whole coffer dam offsite like a massive temporary dam, float the whole thing into position, and carefully lower it down over the river inlet. I'm talking about maneuvering a monolithic concrete structure weighing thousands of tons through one of the most confined urban environments on Earth. Yet by integrating a steady stream of real-time location data from satellites, survey crews, and other sources into the ArcGIS environment, they could meticulously map and execute that Herculean engineering challenge without a hitch. My first foray under the Thames, I think, apart from the Blackwall Tunnel. It was like surgically grafting a new underground artery into the body of London. And that's just one example of the surgical applications and solutions ArcGIS enabled throughout the seven-year mega construction project. Every step of the way, it gave teams the ability to virtually see, analyze, and manipulate the labyrinth of underground spaces they were carving through. When you consider the scale of what was pulled off here, it's absolutely mind-boggling. By 2022, a whole warren of gigantic boring machines had chewed a winding 25 kilometers tunnel path some 70 meters beneath one of the densest, most complicated urban landscapes imaginable, without any catastrophic incidents above ground. It was like delicately birthing a new underground circulatory system into the body of a living, breathing metropolis, a modern revival of those awe-inspiring Victorian feats of civil engineering that first tamed London's chaotic underworld generations ago. And you know what's even crazier? The final system commissioning is still a couple of years away. But once this whole subterranean behemoth finally fires up for real, it's poised to virtually eliminate the recurring nightmare of sewage overflows that have turned the River Thames into a trash pit for far too long. Can you imagine the impact? 
No more will London's iconic riverside scenery be marred by a brackish soup of untreated waste gushing in from antiquated drain systems every time it rains. Instead, the Tideway Tunnel will stealthily capture and divert those foul overflows over 25 kilometers away to proper treatment facilities before they can despoil the river. Just picture it. Rowers, pedestrians, kids playing, wildlife and flora, all getting to experience the Thames restored to its original pristine splendor without the foul aromas and contamination of raw sewage spills. An underground construction project delivering a profound environmental boon above ground that will benefit generations to come. When you take a step back, the Thames Tideway Tunnel is the epitome of what pioneering engineering married to technological mastery can accomplish in solving the biggest challenges facing humanity's aging infrastructure. It's an subterranean landmark, as monumental and ambitious as any of London's iconic buildings and bridges, yet silently carrying out its crucial duties unseen, underground. So next time you visit London and soak in that breathtaking riverfront scenery, just take a moment to appreciate the civically-minded marvels of hydro-engineering slithering unseen beneath your feet. You'll be witnessing what well-planned, responsibly executed infrastructure upgrade looks like for the 21st century and beyond. Now that's the markings of an unsung underground hero. Isn't it amazing how such an ambitious engineering feat can have such a profound impact on a city? all while operating almost invisibly underground? What other incredible infrastructure projects would you like to see get the spotlight they deserve? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you enjoyed taking a look at this underground engineering marvel, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more fascinating videos from our channel.